What is up guys? Welcome back here to another Rise of Kingdoms content. Today we have our Lit staff here to introduce the new range commanders KVK and Alliance Mobilization event. I'm going to give you guys some of my opinions in here as we see the updates. Um, now if you guys want to see more Rise of Kingdoms content, consider subscribing to this channel and turn your notification on so that whenever we have an update, you are going to be notified right away. So let's watch this. This is Johnny. This is Asha and um, new person in the Lilith staff that I'm Welcome seeing. back to another update um, video. All right. I'm Johnny and I'm okay. joined by my colleagues. Okay, so her name is Agus. Agus and Asha. Awesome. Today we're bringing you the new update for the top. We'll be right. covering new commanders with engineering talents, a new KVK, awesome. and the new Alliance mobilization event. Now, without further ado, let's get into the details. Okay, give me the deets. All right. Governors, three new legendary commanders are joining Rise of Kingdoms. Two of them are commanders with engineering mm. talents. Okay. Excel at leading C Whoa, 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 whoa. Take a look at this. Uh, they are not providing the correct um, stats here uh, for the attributes. As you can see, it's providing as 1%. It is not 1%, by the way. Don't panic. The devs are hiding the true value right now. They're hiding it. But this is interesting, giving siege units some buff. Siege units and... Oh, by the way, I still have a lot of siege units. So that's good. Fighting in range mode. The forefather of the moguls, Babor, excels at engineering, versatility, and attack. Awesome. His active skill... Alright, active skill deals skill damage to the target troop. We don't know the value, it's hidden. This skill can only be used in range mode. Okay. Alright, now let's take a look at the second skill. Increase attack of this commander's siege units by X% percent and their defense by X%. Percent. This commander's troops deal X% percent more range normal attack damage interesting so basically this is an attack based skill um, you can see in here siege unit attack bonus and also defense um, and range normal attack damage bonus as well so if you switch into the range tower then you can definitely get more bonus using this now the third skill now in range mode this commander takes percent less damage from normal attack so i don't know i feel like once you are getting normal attack you want to like this you know dismantle that range tower and and march march back out march away from the enemy right um range normal attack from this commander troop have a 10 percent chance to deal additional skill damage to a target troop this is cool now one thing that i want to mention is that whenever we do the range attack right this is not doing any severely wounded uh nothing's going to the hospital now wonder how valuable this is really because you know in many kingdoms there's dkp system there this this is not right implemented yet so i don't know if since people are investing in commanders should range uh kill points really matter now so that's that's something to consider in range mode only now fourth skill increased health of this commander siege units when taking damage this commander siege units have 10 percent chance to gain increased defense increased damage for three seconds okay gives you a little bit of a uh, you know buff in here but again when i'm seeing this if i am using these commanders i'm gonna be as far away as anybody and if if they're coming towards me i'm going back to my formation and march away all right so here you can see that it increased the attack of the commander siege units whenever they use an active skill their troop will gain rage as well for the next three seconds so you know this is kind of nice um, but it's again it is a range hero it's an engineering talent tree I wonder what the talent tree is going to really provide here this commander in the wheel of fortune event the um, skill animation there looks like uh, Mehmed the second engineering commander is Margaret the first the okay. high queen of the north her other talents are risk um, yeah let's take a look into here the first talent from Margaret uh, for three seconds range Normal attack from this commander deals more damage and deals additional skill damage. Again, everything is going to really factor in what bonus they're actually providing us in here. Now, the second skill in here, increase the attack of the commander siege units and their march speed. Range attack from this commander troops will have a 10% chance to increase normal attack damage. More damage in here, which is good. What's kind of unique in here is that giving siege units some marching speed bonus. We know siege is slow. In range mode, this commander will deal extra range skill damage. Okay. 
when their troop deals skill damage, it has a 10% chance to reduce a target's troop march speed for 3 seconds. Um, interesting. This could be a really nice, um, you know, setup to prevent advancement of, you know, commanders. Um, maybe those cavalry, you can slow them down. Or maybe for those who are actually retreating as well. Now, this will increase the attack of the commander's troop. Range normal attack from this commander's troop have 10% chance to reduce the target's troop defense. Um, that's quite nice, actually reducing the target troop's defense. So if you have Margaret, I feel like Margaret is so much more better than Babur. Um, if you're actually using Margaret, then, you know, those players who are being targeted will reduce his defense. And... Everyone who is not in the range combat can target that and cause more severely wounded. So that's interesting that to use Margaret in a supportive role. Now, the last skill here, the expertise skill, increase the defense of the commander's siege units. When taking damage, this commander's troop has a 10% chance to heal itself. Now, I don't care much about the defense nor healing because this is a range combat. You shouldn't be getting attacked. Now, you can get... Um, Babur from Wheel of Fortune, not sure if it's going to be worth it. Now you can get Margaret from an event. In the Margaret. Now this is the skill animation of Margaret. Invictus event. I think the skill animation is, is okay. During Margaret Invictus event, you can offer your laudations to increase your reward level in Unlock Reward. So for you to be able to get this load, um, you have to defeat barbarians, you have to do city collection, and then uh, resource gathering. Words such as Margaret and Victus. And as we can see, there is also login gift. I'm sure we're gonna get like free Margaret from this one. Sculptures. You can get log. Um, one more thing to point out that you have to spend 20 bucks if you want to get more sculptures here. Not sure if it's worth it. You can get laudations to defeating barbarians, gathering on the map, and city collection. Awesome. The first Basilius, Hieraclius, is a leadership type commander with proficiency in garrison and defense. His active skill. Alright, so Heraclius deals damage up to five target troops AoE. Um, damage dealt to each target is reduced by 15%, which we know. Um, this skill also grants troops mighty shield, so that mighty shield has to be mighty, mighty big. Alright, not sure what it is, but very interesting. Skill deals direct damage. Now, second skill, increase health of this commander's troop. Okay, good. Um, when serving as a garrison commander, normal attack from this commander's troops have a 10% chance to increase its own counterattack damage for 3 seconds. If you're garrisoning your own city, you get more buff. Okay, good as well. To up to 5 nearby target troops. Then That's actually good for like, you know, maybe if you're defending a flag and you're getting multiple rallies. You know, you get more counterattack damage from there. Increase skill damage of this commander's troop. When they use an active skill, they gain mighty shield. All right, so you want to have a rage engine with this. Um, so whenever you're garrisoning your own city, you're getting more from this, more mighty shield. So this is a great protection for cities, of what I can see, and a descent on like structures, on flags or fortress or get or a pass. Damage dealt to each target is reduced. Now, this fort skill increased defense of this commander's troop and its attack when garrisoned in a stronghold or your city. Okay, perfect. When this troop is attacked while it has shield, it has 30% chance to deal direct damage to the attacking troop. Okay, that's cool. I mean, we're getting some defensive bonus attack and more whenever you have a shield. Used by 15% for each additional target. Now, the expertise in here, this commander's troop takes less damage from normal attack. Make it, wow, it's kind of tanky. If this commander's troop contains at least three different unit types, damage taken is reduced by an extra percent. Um, I think this is great. Maybe it will replace YSS, or maybe you can do this in YSS. Um, you know, not sure. I mean, this could definitely work with any unit type, but you would probably want to do a leadership commander as well to pair this up. I'm sure we will come up with, you know, a bunch of creative combination for this. But for now, that's what I can think of that we can do for combination, you know. Uh, you know, probably YSS the best one to really pair with this. This skill also grants the troop a mighty shield for three seconds. You can get this commander in the Mightiest Governor event. Awesome. Okay. Um, based on these commanders, what I'm seeing is where we're going to be leading into since a lot of times that we're just defending a structure, we just pretty much dump whatever we want, even on a Xeno defense, right? 
So this is could be this could be very interesting because allowing us to dump whatever troops we get, everybody's getting buff. And I like the HP buff from that hero as well. Ain't this new KVK storyline, Warriors Unbound? Alright, this KVK storyline is very interesting. There is six uh camps there. We got Flame, Earth, Storm, Light, Wood, and Surge. They changed Surge. There's no more water. They changed it to Surge. We present you the artifact. Instead of always right. having to build your troop around a single unit type, mm -hmm. for the first time ever in Rise of Kingdoms, this new legendary equipment now allows you to experiment with multi-unit troops. When a commander equipped with an artifact is assigned as their troop's secondary commander, any skills they have that only apply to a single unit type will instead apply to a different unit type. I like this. It allows us to use more of our commanders. I think this is an interesting KVK. I'm going to definitely request this from our leadership team to 2581 to make sure that we join or try this Season of Conquest Warriors Unbound. I think this is going to be really fun, especially for those who has a lot of commanders. Uh, then I think he only says here that you only get one of the artifact, then I'll have to choose Archer Artifact. Not sure how this thing is going to unfold. Depending on the artifact. For example, if a commander has a skill that only applies to cavalry units, if they equip an infantry artifact, then that skill will apply to infantry units instead. Mm -hmm. Artifact effects will only work in the Lost Kingdom, Sunset Canyon, and Lost Canyon. You can only claim one per season, which will be lost at the end of that season. Does that mean that I can actually use um, maybe Joan of Arc or Nevsky and make it all the skills for archers, right? So that would be insane. That would be crazy. I could be Cavs gang, but Archer gang? The Warriors Unbound story also introduces new building restrictions. Alliance fortresses can only be built in areas bordering a... This is, this is very interesting. Okay, building restrictions. Um, he's also going to say it, but I'm going to say it now. I um, mean, the Warriors Unbound story, Alliance fortress can only be built in areas bordering holy sites or pass. Okay, but you don't have to capture the holy sites or pass. Holy site or pass. Governors, join us for a series of Valentine's Day events to win great rewards. Spin your I, wheel of... Jay, I never get any great rewards here. I think we need to boost my account. Look at Asmarauda's prayer and try your luck to win her riches at Asmarauda's treasures. A brand new event where you can work with your teammates and compete with other alliances is coming in this update. Awesome, this I'm excited for this is one. divided into five leagues. Based on your rankings, you may be promoted, relegated, or remain in the same rankings mm -hmm. after the competition ends. The higher is the league, the higher are the rewards. You can only accept quests, increase quest progress, submit quests, and claim alliance level. So alliance leaders and title officer can be the one to sign up for this event. This is an alliance event. Um, at least 30 players, up to 100 participants. Um, those are a few things that take importance in here. Must be city hall level 16 as well. Rewards in the alliance that signed you up for the event. Only alliance leaders or officers mm -hmm. participating in the event can refresh unclaimed quests. The rewards looks generous. You must... Um, one thing to note, if you fail to claim the reward, you are going to lose this. So it's not like one of those things where we, uh, you know, let, the, let it sit in the, in the mail and don't collect it for a while. Complete and so. submit Alliance Quest within a certain time limit after receiving it. Otherwise, it will be regarded as a failed quest. Mm -hmm, you okay. can also choose to manually abandon an uncompleted quest, which will also be considered a failed quest. If you fail a quest, the quest attempt you used will not be refunded. Ooh. And that's it for today's video. Please let us know what you think about this update in the comment section below. I think the update is interesting. I can't wait to see the range commanders and how it's going to change the battlefield. Um, the Heraculous commander as well is interesting. I'm probably not going to invest on it, but it's definitely interesting on in how it's going to change the dynamic of defending a flag fortress or city. Uh, I think the city would definitely change the way it is. Maybe I'll get it just to defend my city because that might be even better to use. I don't know yet. Um, another thing that I like is the new KVK. I like the artifact. I'm excited to try that. I think, I think I'm very excited to try that. I think out of all of this, out of all of the updates, I'm more excited with the KVK. I'm curious about the Alliance event. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the main channel. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel as well. And if you like Rise of Kingdoms content, press like into this video. And of course, we create regular ROK videos. So if you turn your notification on, you are going to get notified right away whenever we upload videos. Bye-bye. 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 But wait. Engineering Bloopers. Blah. Blah.
<laughs> wow. This happens a lot. This happens a lot more than you think whenever you're recording. For example, if a commander has a skill. It's nice that they have script. We don't have scripts. Well, that, that only applies. I, I wish I could have scripts, but typically whenever we record here, it's all improv. It's like whatever comes into my mind. And a lot of times you're, you'll see it cuts, 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 because I'll be like, I'll say something like, oh, sh you know, it doesn't make sense. Or I used the wrong word. It's just, I love it. I love to see the growth in here from them. They're improving. Um, Jay is still kind of new to this as well. He's improving as well. I love it. Uh, they're pretty cool. I've talked to them in, on Discord. They're awesome, amazing people. Um, they work really hard for us to have this amazing game and community. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye. I love that awkward pause there. Amazing. <laughs> 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 All right, so before we end this, let's take a quick look. Hello, governors. Let's take a quick look onto the comments now. Um, we got people saying here we need to recover heads that we already invested in earlier, commanders. It's got 24 likes. All right, that's interesting. I mean, that would be amazing as well. Um, we were we demand Rusty Leo spirit and high mood in the video. <laughs> Laguna. Um, need museum buff for Alex? Okay, that is fair. No mention of new museum buffs. Yeah, there's none. You release commanders. We have no way to improve the old ones because little heads are hard to get. Actually, I disagree with the statement. There's so many ways to get legendary commander sculptures. We just had Kerouac. You get 12 of that if you're in the you know, last mode of it. Um, you know, if you do your, uh, what is this thing called? Uh, Ark of Osiris, you know, you get a lot. So very interesting update. And, you know, if you're, uh, if you're just active, you get a lot of rewards, honestly. You put in what you get in this game. See, even now, you can still get legendary commander sculptures, right? If you play this race against time, which I haven't done yet, which I will do later, you can see. You can get Legendary Commander Sculpture if you can rank into the top 10. But anyway, besides that, this is pretty cool. Make sure that you guys are subscribed to Rise of Kingdoms. Um, make sure to like this as well. And um, I'm definitely excited. The most thing I'm excited is the KVK. Anyway, Rocker, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again next time.